Hello everyone! Welcome back to our lesson. Today is Saya with me, Teacher Kartika. Today, we were going to learn about electricity for primary 2. So, are you ready? Okay, let's start with recite Basmala together. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim I have a video about story of electricity So let's check it first Welcome to the story of electricity So many things that we use every day rely on electricity to work Have you ever wondered where this electricity comes from? And what is it? In this video, we are going to answer the question, what is electricity and how do we use it? Did you know that electricity is energy? Our bodies and minds need healthy food to give us the energy to be awake and active. Machines are the same. They use electricity to give them the energy to turn on and work. In fact, electricity is the energy which powers much of our lives. Unless you create your own power at home, the electricity that you use has to come from somewhere else. So how does it get to us? Let's find out. Are you ready to go on a journey? To begin with, electricity is made at power plants like this one. From there, it goes into huge power lines which travel many kilometres. At this stage, the electricity is too dangerous to be delivered straight to our homes, so it goes to a transformer station like this one. From there, it goes into smaller power lines that you might see in your street. These power lines deliver it straight to our homes. And that's the story of electricity. Remember, electricity is energy, just like our food. Instead, it is the energy which powers the things we use every day. So go ahead, see what else you can find out about electricity. You might even find some ways to save some power. Okay, Bye for did you remember what is electricity? Yes, electricity is an energy that can be used in our daily Energy is a form of energy. Electricity is a form of energy. Just like light, heat, and sound. Electricity means in Bahasa is listrik. Some, uh, some things such as fan, television, computer need electricity to work. Electricity gives the things energy to work. Electricity gives energy to lamp, light up, to uh, toys, to work, just like a food. Electricity gives energy to work and play. Now, I have the picture. Look at the picture here. Which thing that needs electricity to work? Can you point it? Good. Television, computer, clock, robot, and toy car need electricity to work. Good job! Electricity can be used to power electrical items such as television, computer, iron, etc. Now, where does electricity come from? Electricity comes from power station, solar power, battery or cell, wind turbine, and water power. And then, this is a sample how does electricity from power station get to our house. Energy from power station transfer to pilot and flow into substation and flow to our house and stay in wall socket. Where you uh, get the electricity in the socket? Now put the so put the plug in 
into the socket then turn on the switch so television microwave computer can work based on the electricity come from so there are two types of electricity power that we usually use in our daily life what are they there are main electricity and battery do you know what the difference is between main electricity and battery yes good job main electricity is when the item are plugged into electrical wall socket example television computer air conditioner hydrator microwave rice cooker and fridge good job and then how does electricity from the battery get to the things you must put the battery into the slot the battery slot then turn on the switch so the clock doll watch plus light camera can work next what what do you think is electricity safe hmm no not always electricity can be dangerous so be careful we must use electricity safely example do not put too many plug into the same socket because it's cause of fire breakout do not touch a socket with wet hand it can cause electrocution it can uh, it can cause electrocution when uh, you put anything other uh, that a plug in a socket with the metal material be careful and always keep things away from electrical things you could get an electrical shock now do you know what some important thing to use electricity wisely yes this is uh, the picture uh, we must use electricity wisely the first do not waste electricity we should turn the thing off when we are not using it example when the window open switch off the fan if you go to somewhere switch off the light switch off the radio after you using it next this uh, example the other example is explain how we use to uh, uh, to use electricity wisely alhamdulillah today we have learned a material about electricity and it relate to quran surat ar-rum ayat 24 it means dan di antara tanda-tanda kekuasaannya dia memperlihatkan kepada kamu sebuah kilat untuk menimbulkan ketakutan dan harapan dan dia Allah menurunkan hujan dari langit lalu menghidupkan bumi dengan air itu sesudah matinya sesungguhnya pada yang demikian itu benar-benar terdapat tanda-tanda bagi kaum yang berakal we have to use electronic appliances safely and save the electricity energy thanks Allah that we have electricity nowadays that help us to do everything easily I think that's all from me I hope this material about electricity can make us to be a wisely people let's say hamdalah together alamin. thank you for watching this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and then you can share this video to your friend and family assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh